Today I'm going to show you how to make your 3D prints stick better on glass with homemade glue and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing and if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. I started to print on glass again lately and I had the issue as many of you that making things stick on the glass surface can be difficult and inconsistent. There are several pretty well known solutions like glue stick or hairspray that seem to work for some of you but the issue with these is that the results can vary depending on what brands and products you use. So there is not the best glue stick or the best hairspray. I was looking for something that could be more reliable and comparable as well as cheap and ideally being made at home from non-toxic ingredients. That led me to some research about homemade non-toxic glue and what I found was several pages and videos about school glue, white glue or Elmer's glue. The base formula is also called PVA which means polyvinyl acetate. Fun fact, PVA was discovered in Germany in 1912 by a man named Fritz Platte. The glue is made from water, sugar and flour and that's things everyone has at home. I thought maybe this could be something as a base glue to dilute it with water and then apply it to the glass surface to make things stick better. So I decided to give this a try and this is how it's done. Let's start with the preparations. We'll need flour, sugar and about 300 milliliter of warm water a pot to mix the glue, a small cup or glass, a non-sticky frying pan, a whip to mix the ingredients. Also have two gem jars ready for the final product. First, put one tablespoon of sugar into the small cup to have it ready for later. Then put about 250 milliliter of the warm water into the pan. Pour the rest of the water into the mixing pot. Put three tablespoons of flour into the mixing pot and then immediately start mixing it with the water using the whip until there's no chunks anymore and you have a smooth paste. Then start heating the water until it almost boils. Just when it starts steaming, pour the flour mixture into the hot water and immediately start whipping it so no chunks can build. Use a rubber scraper to get the rest of the mixture out of the pot while continuing to stir, add the sugar. Put the pan aside and keep stirring for a while. Now you can fill the glue into an empty jam jar to protect it from dry up. Don't forget to clean everything you use for making a glue quickly because your dishwasher might have otherwise problems to remove the dry glue. As long as it's still fresh, it's easy to wash off. The base glue mixture is now ready to be diluted. I am starting with a mixture of about 150 milliliter of water with three teaspoons of glue. You can experiment what ratio works best for you if you don't get the amount of stickiness yet. Shake the final solution so it's really mixed well before you start applying it to the surface. My first test is to put the glue solution directly to the Anycubic Ultra Base. I'm using a cotton pad to apply it and then let it dry for about 10 minutes. Now let's do a test print with some larger bottom surface to see if it warps away from the surface. So far it looks really well for the first layer and it does stick. Uh, let's see how this goes until the end of the print. Still looking good. It seems the glue has helped to keep the print sticking and I'm seeing zero detachment. Getting the part off the plate is not an issue. It's still sticky a bit, uh, which is a good sign. Now I am doing a second test with a plain glass plate which has no additional texture compared to the Anycubic Ultra Base. Here I am doing the same preparations, applying the solution with a cotton pad, letting it dry and doing the same test print. Again the first layer really looks good. And also the final result doesn't show any signs of detachment, really nice. Getting the part off the glass plate is even easier than removing it from the Ultra Base Let's look at the final results. Both test towels have a really nice bottom surface. The glass plate creates this really shiny flat surface. The Anycubic Autobase has this interesting and still very soft pattern I also like a lot. Both surfaces had enough rest adhesion after cooling down so the glue definitely helped to increase the stickiness to the surfaces. I'm interested how this works for you so please put your results using glass surfaces in the comment section so we can discuss about it. 
If you think this was helpful, like and subscribe. And if you really want to support me creating new content for you, then definitely check out my Patreon page so you can make an impact. See you next time.